Hi guys. So you'll have to excuse me because I'm trying to multitask. I'm doing a lot of stuff all at the same time. Good morning. Oof. Oh, you're so sweet. I'm good. Maybe just a Periscope takeover at some point. Are you on Periscope I now? just got on. Okay, hi Periscope. I'll just continue. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? We'll take it. Hi. <laughs> it's okay to have a 6 out of a 10 day. You're having a 6 out of 10. I'm having like a 4 out of 10. 4 out of a 10? I woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, no, do you know what happened? I got halfway to work and I had to turn around. I know. And um, I left with my husband's keys. Ugh. So this is not bad. I, I, oh yeah. Staff. Oh, it's a press juice right yeah. now. This is something different. Oh, um, I don't know where that is. It's right where I've been Oh, I want to yeah. check that out. Yeah, I, I went. Is it good? Day, oh, do they have ready-made juices they though? They do. These are it, but oh, they're it's pretty yeah. pricey though. Is it? How much is that thing? Yeah. Oi vey, I just totally lost my, oh, I've got to, okay, we have a El Nino weather briefing that just came down, so gotta look into that. Um, declared that a weak El Nino has de developed, July update announced that El Nino was strengthening, okay, let's, let's talk about El Nino for a second. My birthday is super soon, that's at the end of this month. Woohoo! Strengthening will likely last into early spring. Um, let's see. No problem. Um, no prob. Um, I can do it. Um, I can do it. Um, what time? I can. Um, I can do it. I want to record, um, what time? <laughs> Wrong side of the bed. Seriously. Oh, okay, let's go back to this El Nino briefing. I'm trying to do like 10 things at once. Oh my gosh. Okay, so there's an El Nino teleconference. All right. Um, NOAA forecasters declared that a weak El Nino had developed in March 2015 and, and issued an El Nino advisory which remains in effect. The July update, I cannot find my, do you guys see my oh, earpiece? There it is. Sorry, okay. Oh my gosh, stop it. I need, <laughs> need to block you. I just, bad angle. Okay. Uh, strong, uh, it was like, it was like um, warmer ocean temperatures, Pacific Ocean, the equator of at least 1.5 degrees Celsius above normal for three months. Strong El Ninos can result in more frequent and intense storms and heavy rain and snowfall in certain parts of the country. An increase in tropical cyclones in the Pacific decreased hurricanes in the Atlantic. And that's kind of what's happening right now. Experts from NOAA will discuss the latest El Nino forecast and current drought conditions in the West. Predicting how strong this El Nino could become and the effects of the storm may have on the West Coast is difficult. However, even if the West Coast sees above normal rain and snow this winter, the amount of precipitation won't be enough to erase four years of record-breaking drought conditions for California. NOAA forecasters update the El Nino Southern Oscillation ENSO diagnostic discussion on the second Thursday of each month. Uh, okay, how about block? I'm not paying attention and I'm not blocking freaking perverts. So we're gonna start blocking them. Thing, yeah, thank you. I need to start. That's what happens when my uh, attention is split. Ninety seconds, guys. Ninety seconds. I got you. El Nino is when sea surface temperatures warm up and we have an increased amount of rain or snow. One minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, we are coming up. Thirty seconds, guys. We are thirty seconds out. Seven forty six. And time to take you outside right now to Long Beach, where we're looking at clear conditions, a bit of haze, and temperatures warming up quickly. We're up to the 70s, expecting the 80s, 90s, triple digits. And we do have excessive heat watches kicking in tomorrow, lasting through your Sunday for our inland valleys, slightly cooler by next week. Rick. Okay, so we have a new radio time today just because we've got some wacky weather going on. So you guys have to remind me that I'm on at 8. Rick is here. What's up? He's going to come and say hi to, to everybody. Huh? I'm scoping. I'm scoping. I took my heels off. JK. <laughs> <laughs> if only flats gave me height, that would be the day. <laughs> Hi guys. 801, thank you. So you'll have to give me a little reminder. Keep me on track today, people. What two dudes? What's your word of the day, Rick? Somebody guessed it. Somebody guessed it. Let's see if they are right. Are you on Poseidon Adventure? Today? Poseidon Adventure. You wouldn't have guessed that. Uh, Rick guessed, I meant somebody guessed peppermint, but you've used that before. Come, come say hello. No, not, not at the moment. I am multitasking. I'm looking at this El Nino update because I have to do something for CBSN. Um... Strengthening will likely last into spring. Oh. You on the Poseidon adventure today? Leo says thanks for following me. Who? To Steph. No problem. Oh, you want to try a coconut? Oh, you don't like coconut. Okay, these are so good. They're called Dang. Dang. They're coconut chips. And those are Benitos. I am like the chip lady. I provide everybody with their fix of chips. But those are healthy because they're all beans. How about this? The Mexican eating vinitos. Ah. <laughs> Is that a stereotype or what? <laughs> oh, man. We'd be like asleep. Hi, White Way Foods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, here comes Diane. We're going to change our batteries. No, here comes Uncle Phil, too. Hello. Hello. Uncle Phil. People. Hello. And uh, Lady Di. We got lots of followers yesterday on Twitter. I love Sorry. Lady Di. What? I like that. Here, I'm going to go change my batteries. So we'll talk Phil about. and... You want me to just okay. uh, Oh, there's Hell a zip? Man. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's easy. What's up? It's Uncle Phil and Cousin Ricky. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, you guys. How are you? I'm here. I'm just getting my batteries Thanks changed. Thanks for the follows. Again, you follow me. I'll follow you back. People were following me on Twitter, so I follow the, my fans back. That's good. Right? That's nice. Uh, the Bazinga guy. Nice I, I don't know. Bazinga, yeah, you know, yeah, Sheldon. Yeah. Elvis, Ca Elvis Costello filling in. Classic Rick. So what's movie-wise? Anything new to see? Movie. You know, have you seen Paper Towns? Because I love that. Oh, my I girlfriend's cousin. Fantastic. My girlfriend's it. cousin. Like, yeah. My closest girlfriend. Her yeah. cousin is the lead role. Which one? The, the guy? Boy. Really? Mm -hmm. Can we get him in for an interview? I'm sure. Cause, totally. Because why are you be sitting here like jerks when we can get live interviews for our show? No, for sure we can. They're really close. They were like on a Nickelodeon TV show. I know, just us and always place fans. fans. What else is coming out? Something else? Some big movies are coming out. Uh, what Buster. time is it? Rick, what's your Twitter handle? <laughs> Mine? Yeah. It felt kind of good. At, it was like a bad At Rick Garcia <laughs> News. So. At Rick Garcia News. Rick Garcia are you guys going to show those again tonight? 
follow. Thank you, guys. Rick, did you think Nick Van XL is top five peak? I don't know what that means. There's five Nick things Van wrong XL with that. Nick Van XL top five what? Top five PG for the Lakers? No, absolutely oh my God. When not. I was going to say, wow, you look beautiful, I get Phil. <laughs> Sorry. Is it Rick Garcia 2 or just Rick Garcia? I think it's Rick Garcia News. It's at Rick Garcia News. Rick Garcia News. At Rick Garcia News. Hello, Hello Texas. News. Okay, here now. Here you can have you should have oh, your no. seat back. What, oh, what oh. is all this okay. stuff? I'm just asking. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Side adventure? How's Sharon? Okay, Sharon's people, feeling better. Listen, is she feeling better? I, I haven't talked to her so. today. I, think she is. I talked to her yesterday and her eyes were not in um, good shape. By the way. Can, you, chips, can yeah. you people, you kids out there on Poseidon Adventure, can you name one actor yeah. from the 70s movie, not you, Uncle Phil, from the I, 70s movie Poseidon Adventure? Name, I can one, name one actor that started I can name one. Okay, wait till the kids try it. I again. can name an actor. You guys have to read the answers, though, because I can't see. One actor. I don't, don't, know, don't I look don't, it up on the I internet, too, you bums. How long until this cut in? I don't Poseidon even, Adventure. Uh, four minutes. Ronnie will tell us, I hope. I don't think anyone can name a... Uh, name one actor a, from the movie in the actor. 70s, the Poseidon Adventure. Name one. Bob Hope. No, not no. Bob Hope. Ernest Borgnine? Yes, Ernie Borgnine, I think, was in it. I love Ernie. I met Ernie Borgnine. Who else? Roy Scheider. No, he Gene was not. Hackman. Shel- Shelly Winters. Shelly Winters. That's Very the one good. I love. How about Red Buttons, anybody? Oh, Red Buttons. Huh? You guys looked that up, didn't you? They looked it up, didn't Gene you? Gene Hackman? Someone say Gene Hackman? Hackman in it? I can't remember. Love Gene Hackman. Mm. Do, 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 do. Do you ever pay attention to what they're saying to you? Yes. But today I'm kind of like doing seven things at once. Really? So. I can't read it's it. like one of those days, you know, where just everything's like, whoa, whoa. Rick, what are you eating? I almost asked you for a chip, even though they're my Benito. chips. <laughs> they're beneath those. They're everyone beneath. loves them. These are chips made Seriously, out of beans. Seriously, everyone's like addicted to them. You and Steph. You know because we feel like they're a little healthier because beans are good for you. You, know you guys just like me for my fiber, chips. <laughs> Mm-hmm. They're chips made out of beans. Mm-hmm. Hang on, hang on. You know, these are all crumbs now, but let me see if I can find them. I haven't even had any. You guys finished all of them. Um, Staff ate a lot of mine, too. I'm trying to find one off of the kids on the side of the Yeah. There you go. Okay, push it forward so they can reach it. Mmm. Mm. Not good. What else? Me and all of them snacks. <laughs> Not that I know of. So you got for us, <laughs> people? Um, Rick, let's mm-hmm. talk about sports. How about the Tom Brady? Let's talk about two minutes, yeah. everyone. Two, two minutes. minutes. How about the Geno Smith? New York Jets quarterback. What's your over. favorite part about living in L.A.? Mine? Mm-hmm. Well, I know it's a cliche, but... The weather. Mine. <laughs> then we're gonna say the weather. weather, but the access to other climates too, because we can be in the sun. That's true. Drive up an hour to go to the beach, be the go to the mountains. Be in the beach. That's very true. Tough to beat. Can't can't beat that. Can't Even be. though it's gonna be hot, hot, hot over the next few days. Tom Brady's sketch was awesome. Are the Lakers gonna sign those two guys? What, Did Gino what, deserve it? What two guys? Well, there's a source apparently in one story that I read that says he did deserve it. Really? He put his finger in this guy's face and said, you're not going to do anything about it. And then the guy popped him right in the jaw. Uh-oh. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Yeah, star shower. They are caught meteor showers last night. Yeah. <clears throat> are you going to be in L.A.? That's exciting. Who? Somebody, one of our peeps. From where? No, it's one minute, guys. Oh, my gosh, one minute. Uh, I have chips in my mouth. I'm going to try ah! to do this cut in with, like, a real chip-filled mouth. Problem. A Benito mouth? And then the tie's coming off. Then it's that time. Oh, and then i got to go do radio. I got you. All right, you guys, I'm just finishing this up. Going to see El Nino. Yeah, it looks like we have a good chance of an El Nino right now. But we have four years of drought, so it's going to be hard to make up for all that time. Um, Even with an El Nino. But it does look like it's brewing right now, and sea surface temperatures are... What was it? I just read this. 1.5 Celsius. 1.5 degrees Celsius warmer. So that's a promising sign. 10 seconds. 10 seconds, everyone. Uh, um. Good morning. It's 7.56.
56. I'm Rick Garcia. A desperate search is underway for a Lincoln Heights man. He vanished a week ago after attending a concert. Jose Jimenez was the last seen leaving the club called the Echoplex in Echo Park. Oh, come on, let's do it. Oh, it is very hot and only getting hotter, Rick. But take a look, people at the beach got the right idea in the water today. We're going to continue to see temperatures in the 70s, 80s, 90s, triple digits, an excessive heat watch going to affect tomorrow, lasting through your Sunday. And as we get a look at your seven-day microclimate forecast right here, no surprise because temperatures are really starting to heat up, especially over the weekend. Take a look right here. We're looking at triple digits, numbers going from 105 to even numbers like 107 by the time we head into your Saturday and your Sunday. And then slightly cooler by next week. Monday's still hot, but we're still expecting triple-digit heat as we get a look at one more seven-day microclimate forecast for you. You're going to see temperatures in the 70s, 80s, triple digits, getting up to numbers like 108 in the IE by Sunday. No surprise, we're under that excessive heat watch Friday through Sunday night. 7.57 is the time right now. Check up traffic with Stephanie Simmons when we return. Okay, I have to go do radio. I'm on in two minutes. <laughs> it's like a weird radio schedule today. Um, okay. All right, Rick. Hey, ask them they can do this. It's, well, they want me on at 8, but I can't run, so if I make it, I make it. All right, say bye to Rick, everybody. Bye, Rick. Bye, Rick. Okay, I'm still here. You'll be an upland. Very cool. All right, we're gonna go do radio. Hopefully we'll make it. 7.58 and they want me on at eight, so it's a little tight, but it is what it is today, I guess. You didn't, oh, because I took a different hallway. Hey. Hello? <laughs> yeah, this is usually better. Hey, I, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Okay. <laughs> beats. They're not beats, though. Oh, we can pretend. Oh, okay, sorry, I was just uh, talking about Periscope. Um, okay, so is this right, 8 o'clock on the dot? Oh, three. Okay, perfect. And it's Bob and Vicky. Okay, cool. And just to confirm, our next one is going to be at 8.30? Right on the dot. Yeah, uh, as long as it's on the dot, because I have like an 8.36. So, perfect. Okay, and the other one is 9.03. Does that sound about right? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> so we've got a Canex cut coming up at 8.03. Yes. Hi. Look who it is. It's Orlando. Big fan. Huge <laughs> fan. She's the woman. Ah, uh, <laughs> the woman. <laughs> yeah, she does. Get up. Hi, little Mac. Um, I don't know. Uh, figure it out. Hello. ATL. Okay. Ooh, look, 
what just happened? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Whoops. I think I fixed it. Because I missed this fix it. I fixed it. Ah. Apologies, I had to want, had to want, had to yawn. No, you're not, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get a little coffee or tea action going. Like a cappuccino, please. Yes, he did find out. He had to go pick her up at the neighbor's house. She's hard to miss, though. She is like a massive, large, scary dog. So, my neighbor's awesome for picking her up. Oh, wow, that's intense. I usually try to do one cup of coffee, so I do one cup of coffee at like 3 a.m. Good morning, Vicki, and good morning, Bob. Temperatures really heating up today, expecting numbers to reach the 80s, 90s, triple-digit heat expected at least through the weekend, with Saturday and Sunday being the hottest days. We have excessive heat watches going to affect Friday, lasting through your Sunday night. Little cooler as we head into next week. With Southern California's most accurate and dependable forecast, I'm CBS 2's meteorologist, Evelyn Tapp, KNX 1070 News Radio. Back to the studio because I think our next hits. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm on the air. I can't, but I'll be back. Yeah, they need to just. <laughs> okay, welcome back to the studio. <laughs> Hello. I'm here. KNX wants me back on. I'm like, I have to do my job. What's going on? 807. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Hi. Sorry, I had radio. Yeah. And they tried to keep me on. I was like, uh, I'm on the air here in like a minute. It's not going to work out. I'll go back there after my hit. Ah, oh, thank you. Yes. What? What? Oh yeah, we do. It's it's a weird day. Everything's totally off. 
I'm on in a minute, though. Um, but if you want to... Okay, maybe we have a second. I'm going to say live cam of, you know, the mountains. Um... will say, you know, just usual stuff that's heating up. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the fire danger... Are we under any warnings or watches? Yes. Excessive heat watch is going into effect. When? They go tomorrow. Tomorrow? You okay. Can say that. Anything today? Um, sorry, I can't. Here, we can watch when you're done. Okay. Why don't you leave that? We'll talk later. One minute to the Okay. One minute. Okay. And it's time to take you outside right now to our Mount Wilson camera. You're going to see a little bit of haze in the forecast, and we're expecting temperatures to stay on the warmer side today, even hotter over the next couple of days. We've got excessive heat watches kicking in tomorrow for our inland valleys and the mountains, lasting through your Sunday at 8 o'clock. Rick, or actually, Sandy, it's, me, it's you. Okay. Oh, now radio wants me to come. Not you. <laughs> Um, radio, I need to call K next because now they want me back on, and then CBS N wants me to do some things. So. Okay, well, I wrote it on basically okay, so saying, do, yeah. um, you know, uh, heating up across the South and some parts of the Inland Empire could see triple digits today. Yeah, that's then perfect. To Wait, some parts of the Inland Empire? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. All Inland Valleys. Inland Valleys. All Inland Valleys. Inland Valleys. Um, why not just say the Inland Empire could see triple digits today? No. Because it's, it's every single valley is going to see triple digits. San Fernando Valley, San Gabriel Valley, okay. Inland Empire, um, okay, so San Bernardino. Saying, heating up across the south band. Yeah. We could see triple digits today. I'm expecting triple digits today, yeah. We're expecting triple digits today. And then I'm going to say really nuts. Look at the coast. Um, where, I mean, it's a bit cooler, but... Yeah, where it's a little cooler today, but temperatures are still heating up there nonetheless. Um, we have excessive heat washes going to affect... With some I'm, I'm gonna have you say a lot. Yeah. Right? Okay. So I'll say live over the coast where you know it's a little bit cooler, but still a scorcher. Yeah. Okay. Great for the teas. Uh huh. Anything particular I'm gonna say? Um, for the. What about what uh, about quiet on stage, please? We're recording. Quiet on stage. Oh yeah, excessive heat watch is in effect for the weekend. Excessive heat watches. Um. Okay. Excessive heat watch watches for the work for the weekend. Yeah. We'll show you how we're going to get. Yeah. Okay, do, you, do you want me to take the kids? Right um. Yeah. Yeah. Phil's gonna take you guys for a little bit because it's a, kind of crazy right now. So I'm gonna just get my affairs in order. <laughs> You're dying. <laughs> You guys, you guys, I have to take you. Just for a few minutes, okay? Oh, hello, love. How are you? I have to take you because things are really crazy for her right now. She has to do radio and cut-ins and everything. I know. Sorry, I know you got to deal with me for a few minutes. But, let's see, Deb in the web is still sick today. Um, Lauren is here. I feel violated. We can't, we, I know. We'll get back to Evelyn soon, you guys, I promise. Lauren, here, they want to talk to you. SGV, I got heat warning, Lauren. Hello hey, from Texas. They, the people down. love you. Okay. What are you guys doing this weekend? 
Lucky Phil's favorite Melrose Place quotes go. I don't really have favorites. Oh, I just my heart's going. Well, Melrose Place. Oh, you do. You have the Melrose. Hello from Marina Del Rey. Do you want to talk to the kids? Del Rey. Um, I'm a little bit tired, but sure. Here, okay, Lauren's tired, but you guys, ask her any questions you want about the website. Jobs. I'm a web producer here at CBS LA. We write all of the content for the website. Um, you can also follow us on social media. What's for lunch? I have no idea. I'm not hungry yet. I get in at 4 a.m. So lunch is usually around 10 30. I don't have veneers. I'm not married. Look at all these questions in the hearts. You guys are awesome. What's new on the web? Let's see here. Uh, right now there's a big crash in Long Beach, so there's a sailor there. What's going on? Heat. It's going to be crazy hot. There's a heat alert for LA and uh, Riverside counties. My necklace. Um, someone's asking what my necklace is. It actually is my initials, LJM. All right, you guys, I should probably get back to work, so I am going to pass you back to Phil. But I hope you all have a really good weekend. Oh, he's on the phone. Give him a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass them off to you because I have to okay. take a walk. Okay, take a walk. Any questions? Oh, I know that. Nobody wants us. You guys, we all want you. I know we're Okay, there we go. Is that better for you guys? China is crazy, I know. The video is amazing though. It's already, okay, so I'm gonna say it's already heating up across the Southland. We're expecting triple digits today. I am. I have two special key cows in my pronto rundown, so if you could show me your rundown. What do you mean? Well, I have, I have two. Two of the same rundown. And I need to know if the content differs at all. So I don't know what's what that your means. first story? Yep, first, live mountain cam. Hello, live mountain cam, and then the next one after that? Coast, live coast. Live, okay, live mountain cam. Um, do you like dirt bikes? Yeah, no, I don't do anything physical because I will get hurt. I promise you I will get hurt, you guys. I don't do anything physical. No football, no baseball, nothing. I tried roller skating. I used to be a really good roller skater. Not anymore. When I was a kid, yeah, I would roller skate. Do you guys roller skate? I write all the copy. I do a 11, I'm sorry, 30 minute show at 11. Okay, so. We're gonna say triple, digit, eight, expected. I also put in all the graphics uh, that you guys see. Do you run or go to the gym? I should run, right? More? Hey, Greg, what's going on? I should, I don't know, I walk sometimes, you know. I don't, I used to do that in, in when I worked in Mississippi. I would produce it, I would report, and I would anchor the show. I would do everything. We use iNews, um, Viz, we use the Viz. Steph was not asking about you, I'm sorry. Yeah, so what are you guys doing today? It's Thursday. Any big plans for the weekend? Anyone? Any big plans for the weekend? Anyone? Nothing will market in Mississippi. Greenville. Greenville, Mississippi. When it's 11 a.m., are you in the control room? Yes, I am. I'm exactly where we do the cut-ins. Remember I took you guys in there yesterday, which I will probably take you in there today if that's okay. You're going to Disney, that's awesome. Going to see Man from Uncle. Did any of you guys see Paper Towns? I loved Paper Towns, it was just so good. I love mystery stuff and it's just awesome. What a great movie. What a great movie. What? What are you doing? 
Really? Okay, I'll I'll update. Jess, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? <laughs> Wait, it's in the assign where? No, it's in the email. Oh, e email. Oh, here it is. Oh, yay. Take some LSD. Following you now. Yeah, you guys better follow me now. Yes, I love the show. That was my old station. That's where I started. WXVT. Um, fantastic. Okay, let's just update as fast as we can. I know you guys want Evelyn. I followed Where's Mine. I will go on uh, Twitter. I will do it. I just can't do it now, but I will do it. Um, okay. For the tees, is the weather in Florida better? It's more humid in Florida. It's really humid in Florida, but I miss Florida. Favorite part of my job? It's different every day and I learn something new every day. It's like a constant education. Constant education, constantly learning more, you know. Excessive heat watches. And you have to work fast, like you guys can tell I work really, really fast. And excessive heat watches are going into effect for the weekend. How hot will it get? Everyone's forecast. Excessive heat, I have to make sure everything's spelled right. Just have to kind of work fast because there's always like changes that are coming. Uh, always being thrown at you. Okay, I'm just gonna start stamping this off. You know. Because when things start blowing up, I mean, no pun intended, blowing up, I mean, just things start going crazy.